What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm sharing a best of three match versus the Darth Bear. On the screen right here is the team I used, there's a rental code there for you to use if you want to try it out yourself. Uh, the Darth Bear, they've not created a rental code for their team, but if they do, by the time this goes up, I'll make sure to add it in the description. But anyway, let's get on with it. Alright, here we go, they've got Terrifier Clear Amu Amulet Coridon with Flame Charge. Uh, Sash Fluttermane, Dazzling Gleam Taunt, Shadow Ball, Dark Tornadus Cloak, Air Slash, that's interesting, Sunny Day and Taunt, no Protect, Salt Cure Recover, Wide Guard Protect, Ghost, yep, that's normal, Terra Fire, uh, uh, Wood Hammer, Ogre Pond, and Terra Fire Standard Wake. Okay, what's my play into this? I don't actually know. <laughs> um, uh, not a lot of spread moves over there. So I could pretty easily get up Trick Room if I wanted. Or I could just set up a Swords Dance. Garganackle could be a problem. If I'm being honest. Getting up a defense boost would be nice, actually. I think I'll go that route. Those three, and then... Ensign doesn't seem great. Ogre Pond doesn't seem great. Is it Sinistra? I'm really going to lock in with those four? Okay. I never would have expected that, but that's my play. That's how I'm doing it. Good luck. And great card, by the way. All right. Ogre Pond, Flutter Main. That is cool with me. That is so cool with me. I mean, except that I'd have to, I have to predict whether it's Wood Hammer or Ivy Cudgel into Calyrex. Oh, but other than that, it's great. Yeah, no problem. Um, could be a taunt from Fluttermane, honestly. They have taunt. Yeah, I'd be worried about taunt from Fluttermane. I'm gonna just hit Fluttermane. I want a coaching, but I'm worried they see the coaching coming and taunt me. We'll see, we'll see what they do for, for... Oh, just a Shadow Ball. Fine. Fine with me. Ooh, a double up. Okay. You got me there. Necromancer is not going to be able to get up Trick Room because of the taunt. Well, I don't know what to do. Because I have the Mental Herb. So I can get I can get through the taunt. I'm gonna glacial lance, terror I'm gonna terra water. That's my plan. Will it work out? I don't know. And just trick room. Oh boy. Not a great position. I'm already on my back foot. That's why we play three games. Are you gonna read this in Woodhammer in game one? That'd be cool, go for it. That'd be sick. Oh, that's a Shadow Ball. And Cudgel into Sinistra, fine.
Thank you for the attack boost very much, Fluttermane. All right, well, who do you bring in now? You bring in your Sunsetter and you blow stuff up, right? Gargle Knackle. Oh, actually, that's fine. Yeah, fine. I'm reading a wood hammer into Calyrex here. Because you just want a wide guard. Yeah, I was worried. I was worried about you going into. I was worried about the lizard coming out and setting up the sun and going for a powerful ivy cudgel. That was a crit. Okay. And salt cure. But I'm okay. Ish. <laughs> Reading my protects on this thing. Alright, a double protect is pretty safe from them. I'm gonna throw high horsepower over here and a psychic here. Just a wide guard. Caught ya. Caught you. Plus one does not get it. Hopefully Necromancer's Psychic can finish that off. And it does. Fantastic. And now that you've wide guarded, you can't safely protect. I assume Koridon's last, but you might have brought something else. I really wish that plus one high horsepower had gotten it. Okay, it's Koridon, Collision Course, and Flare Blitz. So all you have is Collision Course, really. I have three turns of Trick Room. Perfect. That's all I need. High Horsepower. Then you protect, then I Glacial Lance, and then it's over. 95% of the time I think I got it, I think. Now there's also double protects, or reading what I'm doing here. There's also the Terra game that we have to play. How much does Collision Course do? 167 down to 76. So I have to get this right then. You did not Terra anything else. I'm gonna call Terra. Just protect. Okay. Oh, I so I so badly wanted to call that in Swords Dance. It's a 50-50. I'm gonna Lance. Yes, got it. <laughs> Whoo! All right, that's game one. Good game. That was a tough one. Oh, down to the wire. Well done. And cool trainer card. All right, game two. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes. I need to get a swords dance up. And I need something for that ogre pond. And that something is hops. I want to, yeah, I want a Swords Dance, and I want to bring Hobbs. Trick Room user, Sinistra didn't do it. Sinistra is getting benched. 
I think better than Sinistra would be Ogre Pond, just as a follow me bot. They don't have a lot of spread, so there's not much point in the wide guard user. They have a faster taunt. That fast taunt could actually be really annoying for Necromancer, too. That's one reason to think of Sinistra. Yeah, but I'm going for this for the change-up. I guess I could play the game the same way and just coaching. But if they switch it up and go with a co on lead or something... Yeah, I think this is the play. Now, I only took game one because I got some 50-50s right. But, uh... I'm pretty good at those. I get those right about half the time. Okay. Right on Ogre Pond. Ooh, scary. Oh boy. I'm terrified. Hmm. Ah. This is rough. This is really rough. If I tear a water, I can take anything from Koridon. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Faking out the Ogre Pond, Terra Water, Glacial Lance. Okay, they're not terrestrializing. They're Koridon. But this just means I show them what I'm doing. Is it just a double protect? Yeah, it's just a double protect. Don't love that. Collision Course Wood Hammer seems like something they could go for here. In which case, I protect and give them something. I guess that would be Hobbs. Because Hobbs doesn't do much. After it intimidated that Ogre Pond, that's about all it does. So yeah, protect, give you this, for some degree of giving you it. Okay, you're showing me a Terra. I like to see this. Get it out of the way. And it's fire over there. Gotcha. Uh, you're not confident in knocking out the Calyrex, then. So you're only throwing wood hammer at it, which means you are going to collision course. Yeah. Ouch. That puts on so much pressure. I don't know if Ogre Pond really gets me out of this. Do I get out of this? I'm gonna try throwing an Ivy Cudgel there. Okay, good. That's a start. That's a big start. Into Booyan. <laughs> Great name.
All right, Necromancer's on the field. There is a chance that we... Well, how do we take that? We take that really well, okay. There is a chance at Trick Room. That was good damage, too. Yeah, I don't got anything against Trick Roaming. And just to follow me. Okay, who do you got? Looterman. With the speed boost? Yeah, you're not gonna like that in a second. Yeah, it's just Assault Cure. Which we'll do a ton, because we're a water type. And of course we got our water type in the back, too. All right, it's sweeping time. Turn up the tempo. I gotta get these KOs while well, getting the KOs is good. They already burned Terra, don't need to worry about that. They do have Gleam on Fluttermane. But I'm not too worried. I mean, they're speed boosting set anyway. Just to protect, fine. Burn that while it's good. Ooh. Okay. I see. going for a taunt there. Well, you're not going to knock me out. Yeah, this is fine. I think this is fine, because you just protected with Booyan. I can high horsepower and probably Horn Leech. There's no safe swap in. Yep, you get your salt cure. Ah, yeah, I knew you would. There's like nothing I could do about it. But I'm putting up the tempo so high that I'm hoping I'll have enough juice anyway. A <laughs> crit didn't need didn't need to do all that. We were doubling into it. Could have at least left me a little bit of more health to absorb with Ogre Pond. Come on, man. And gleam. Ogre Pond goes out. Calyrex doesn't have enough juice left in it. Yeah, I don't think I win. Okay. Calyrex does not have enough health. Um. Maybe I do. I have to get protect plays right. No reason for this to not be a double protect. Click your funny protect buttons, and then I'll see what I can do. I don't think I win this one. Oh, no protect from Flutter? Yep. Mistake! <laughs> Mistakes were made from me. Oh boy.
Yep, big mistake. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, and then I go down. <laughs> to 1 HP. <laughs> well, I'm taking someone with me. You're gonna win this, but I'm I'm gonna take as many Pokemon with me as I can. <laughs> All right, let's see what the plus two uh, spread Glacial Lance can do to a Fire Coridon. No way does this knock out the Double Up, maybe. No, not the Double Up either. Yeah, and then you just hit for Rigraf and it's over. Could have been a Flare Blitz. But didn't need to be. All right, GG. We're going to game three. A very salty, salty, salt cure game. Let's go on. All right, here we go in game three. What did I learn in game two? Hobbs isn't the play, that's what I learned. I think getting up a coaching could be really good. And I think I need a better way to handle Garganackle. Uh, I'll have Sinistra this time. Maybe I don't go for Trick Room at all. Is that crazy? That might be a little bit too crazy. Uh, I think I know what four he's bringing. Problem is that Ogre Pond, it pins Calyrex so well. But if I have Intimidate on it and a coaching, if I can get a coaching, I think that'd be really big. And I can redirect with Sinistra, I just can't redirect away the Ogre Pond. They've shown that they want to Terra the Coridon every time. And I've shown that I want to Terra the Calyrex every time, so maybe... Maybe that's the trick I need. Just don't Terra it. Just trust that they're not going to click a fire move. I don't know if I trust that they're not going to click a fire move. Yeah, that's hard to trust. I don't know. I wouldn't trust that. They could also, like, double it. Hmm. Well, if it's the Ogre Pond Coridon lead that worked for them, I'm terrified. No, it's Fluttermane. You know there's no way I'm going to let you just Ivy Cudgel out, right? So I'm going to Glacial Lance. There's no need to get risky. I can protect in this position and bring in Incineroar. Then I'm super safe. Yeah, that, that's what I need to do. Just a taunt into my instant. Alright, I won't parting shot, I promise. And going right for wood hammer. I knew it. Alright, I get the free fake out. And I think I'll swords dance with it. If you read that. Incredible. If you can read that turn and taunt me, you, you can have it. Okay, I think that might be what they're doing. Yep, Hobbs got hurt. And just a dazzling gleam. That oh it crits Calyrex, of course.
Okay, protect. Get in Sinistra for some healing. Then go back out into Hobbs, get another Intimidate down, and Terra Water. Yeah, just protect. Bring in Sinistra. That damage actually felt like hitting a normal Pokemon, but no, this is Cali Ice. You're not supposed to be able to do damage to Cali Ice. I can also redirect Fluttermane, but I can't redirect the Ogre Pond unless it clicks Terra. Alright, go for your Taunt. Go for your Ivy Cudgel this time. Alright, Ivy Cudgel can crit. I want to Terra Water anyway. So I think it's time to Terra Water Glacial Lance. Bring in Incineroar to get Ogre Pond to minus two. And then I get a fake out turn after this as well. Or maybe a parting shot or a protect and hit Fluttermane. This is good. This is feeling good. This is feeling much better. I think I'm hitting my stride. I just need to get some KOs now. Getting rid of just Ogre Pond would be huge. Yeah, it's a Shadow Ball into Insin. Love it. Now show me an Ivy Cudgel into anything. We get to eat our berry. We're nice and healthy now. Great read. Good damage. Glacial Lance. Plus three, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, presumably, you can read Sinistra coming in, right? Does it matter, though? We saw how much Collision Course did. It was a lot. I mean, going into Sinistra might be too obvious. But I'm down for it. And I'm just going to throw another Lance. I'm not going to give you any breathing room. None at all. Now, Terrifier co ride on. That could honestly clean up the rest of my team, honestly. <laughs> if it gets through Calyrex, that is. Good luck doing that. Fluttermane protect. And no Terra, so that has to be a protect. Collision course? Thank you. Thank you. I love that. That's so kind of you. Okay. Another chilling nay boost. Let's go. Uh, only 50 HP left. And it's Booyan. <laughs> never got up Trick Room. <laughs> uh, protect, go to Incineroar. Fake out, Glacial. Oh, I can't fake out because they saved Terra. Ah. Well, anyway, it's protect Calyrex. And bring in Incineroar. Definitely doing that, regardless. And there's the Terra. Okay. But right there? 
Okay, it's Ghost. Ghost makes sense. I'm not surprised you're Ghost. I'm not surprised you're going Ghost here. I guess you're worried about a high horsepower this turn. And just Salt Cure. Okay. Do I give up my boosts? I have so many boosts. I'm gonna click Glacial Lance, believe it or not, and swap into Sinistra. If they double target Calyrex, they get hit by a Glacial Lance. If they wide guard, they don't have enough juice, and then I can Rage Powder something away. And then I, I never if I never get Salt Cured, they can't beat the horse. They have to Salt Cure to beat the horse, and so they cannot afford to Wide Guard. That's what I'm thinking. They just protect. That's fine. If I take Flutter, it's over. Dazzling Gleam does 101 down to 59. Okay, I was right on the calcs there. I can take that. And another boost for the Ice Horse. I will go ahead and throw another Lance and Rage Powder. Let's see how much a plus six Glacial Lance will do. Or no, that would be plus five. And it's enough. Good game, Garganackle. Whew! That was a fun set. I had a blast. Calyrex had a blast. Going to game three is always so intense. Oh. Great game. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna be posting all of the best of threes for this tour, so stay tuned or go back and watch them. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.